want you to write down on your paper, have I ever been discriminated against? People have treated you in an unfair way based on something about who you are. My mother-in-law spends time traveling around the world, China, Mongolia, and she said one day, a acquaintance of hers was visiting the United States. They arrived at the airport and Customs said, what are you doing in the United States? And he said, I am a terrorist. They looked at his passport. His name was Muhammad. Needless to say, they whisked him away to a side room to talk to him about his intentions, only to find out that what he meant was, I am a tourist. Yeah. As people travel in our country and we're trying to establish safety precautions, is it fair for us to racially profile someone based on their ethnicity, skin color, maybe even their name? Should we spend the same amount of money and resources to check over my mother who, who is traveling versus uh, a young man? My mother who comes in with her sweater and her bag of crochet. Should we give them the same amount of security attention? Yes or no? How often does it happen in a school shooting? An 80 year old white woman versus an 18 year old white boy. Is there a difference? Oh, a lot of people are. Your mom can go on such a psychotic break or whatever and just kill a bunch of people. <laughs> so you do know that. Yeah, I mean. Would you trust me? No. Uh, no. <laughs> if you saw me show up at the airport, if you saw me show up at a concert, would you trust this face? You would get searched. Yeah, only if I, like, I knew you. I would think someone worked there. Would you trust that guy? Is that you? Oh, I feel oh sorry. Oh my god. I'm just kidding. I'm just you kidding. look like a hippie. There were times when I would pull up, and I'm setting up my booth to do caricatures or whatever, and I pull up, and I'm talking to the police, and they treat me very different when I have long hair than when I have short hair. Am I a different person when I have short hair versus long hair? No. Am I a different person when I'm 35 years old and 55? So you're saying if, uh, if you want to export drugs, import drugs to the United States, that, it, that they've learned that a better drug mule is not a 19-year-old guy, but a woman, a pregnant woman, a woman that maybe looks more white. And so they figure out a way. Do you ever feel discriminated against because you're young? If someone you do? Like, thinks that, oh, you don't know because you're just a kid. Yeah, I've had students tell me that they had money ready to buy a car and they would go to car lots and the car dealers would not talk to them because they were just a teenager. And it wasn't until they asked their uncle, somebody to go with them, that they could get a dealer to talk to them so they could buy the car that they came prepared to purchase. What if I own a candy store and little kids come in and they steal fireballs from me and gum on a kind of a daily basis. And I'm watching and I know the demographic that normally steals from me. Is it unfair for me to keep a special eye out? No. You think that would still be unfair? It's more, it's more likely for There's discrimination against people as they get older. With Biden even, people give him a hard time because he's an older man and when he forgets something or he's a little confused, would they do that to me? I'm, I'm 55, I get confused. I forget things. I remember a lady telling me, she says, as I've gotten older, I've noticed that younger women have started excluding me from conversations because they don't feel like I would relate and then I'm old, I'm from that older generation. How have you felt gender discrimination? For sports. Okay. I have a friend that when they were kids, there was a girl that came up from the neighborhood that wanted to play baseball with them and they had a decision to make. Do we let this girl join us? They let her join and she went on to play college softball. Anybody else have experiences with gender discrimination? Yeah. My wife's better at math than I am because she's the math instructional coach and has a degree in math. It is interesting how we will sometimes have preconceived notions that boys are better at leadership, boys are better at science, girls are better at art, whatever. Like these ideas, what can happen is as a culture, we can foster that and actually kind of make it true that a girl, when she asserts authority, 
that she's had in my enrichment class that one girl who's very like outspoken and I told her you will either be a great leader for good things or you're going to just distract me you got to make that decision of taking leadership and join student council right do something cool with that ability I've seen gender discrimination firsthand through my wife and her getting a degree and then the opportunities that would pop up and she had to push for opportunities that other people would have been able to walk into as a male walking in with a tie and a suit. You know, you go in, I, one example is a local bank here in town that she tutored a guy in math who was really struggling. He applied to the same bank that she did and they offered him an, an executive position. Even though he struggled academically, the only difference was he was tall in a suit. More, more women are getting college degrees than men. So the whole system has to change because um, we're going to see more women qualified to take those jobs that are opened up to college students. I applied for a job. I actually interviewed. It was at a university in Chicago. I had to teach a class in front of college students. The college kids seemed to really like the class. I had dinner with the art department and I gelled well with the department. I sat with the president and we dialogued back and forth. That went really well. They called and said, you're going to get the job if one of our adjunct faculty members, who is a woman, doesn't take it because we have an all-male department and we'd like to see a woman join the faculty. About a week later, they called and said, it looks like you're going to get the job. She hasn't responded. Congratulations, basically. We'll let you know for sure tomorrow. And the next day, they called and said, she took the job. <laughs> But I also understood that it would be good for the department to have a woman in it. You have all guys in a department as instructors. It's nice to have diversity. And you know people will treat you different if, you, if you're more dressed up or you're kind of more pulled together. If, you, if you're trying to look more feminine or more androgynous. Racial profiling, your skin color, your ethnicity, the culture you come from, your gender, your age, all of these things become part of it. Yeah. With profiling is then, what do people assume because someone's gay? Like, what are, what are their assumptions with that? What are their assumptions if someone is cross-dressing or anything like that? And that becomes, that becomes part of the dialogue of how do we treat... So the culture I came up with, the fact you're wearing jeans means you're trying to look like a boy. Your kid someday, like whatever is considered kind of racy today, they won't consider racy, and I don't know what it's going to look like by the time your kids come to school. It'll be like, and you'll be like all upset at them, and you'll say, when I was a kid, we never did that. Guys didn't go to school without a shirt on. You're like, <laughs> you're so old-fashioned. For me to go, all the guys go to school without a shirt on. Oh, God. Right? And you'll be like, man, I miss the olden days when we just pierced our nose. Like, either they will start wearing like a... Uh, Amish bonnet and go like retro conserve. They'll do something to upset you. That's what I did. My grandmother told me I was her prettiest grandchild. During the Renaissance, there was a study called Physiognomics where people would not just judge you based on the way you look, they would judge you based on what kind of animal you look like. People like Leonardo da Vinci practiced it. And what they would do is they would look at you and they would say, hmm, you look like a lioness. You look like a weasel. What do we know about weasels? What does a weasel, what's its characteristics? What steals eggs from the chicken? A lion is courageous and it leads us into war. Like there's nothing's gonna scare a lion. So this was a serious study and people would be judged this idea of looking an animal. And what they would do is they would explore the person's face, look at the, name, the nose, look at the chin, the eyes. Do another drawing that would kind of exaggerate those animal features in the face. So it wouldn't be a straight portrait, but they would explore that out. That that person looks a little like a camel or a fox or a donkey. And they would like push it as a way to kind of justify that, hey, this is what this person looks like. And then you would consider that when you're thinking about who would be a good person to lead us into battle? Who would be a good governor? Who would be a good person to date my daughter? Like, no, nah, he looks like a weasel. I just don't, I don't trust him. Like, there's no way he should date my daughter because he's just something about him. 
his like that it looks too it looks too shifty. This was really believed, and people use this as a way to gauge, kind of like what we do in interviews. As you look at it, it's not racial profiling, it's not gender discrimination. It's this physiognomic animal profiling where you're looking at the person and making a judgment. If people said, you know, we want to hire you, but you just look like a weasel, like people were like, what? What are you talking about? Why would you not hire me? Because you think, or you said, you know what? We would really like for you to become the new CEO for our company because you look like a lion. And so we want you to lead, be chairman of the board. We want you to move this company forward into the, the next markets. You'd be like, because I look like a lion? You're going to hire me because of that? What about my resume? What about my past performance? No, 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 no. I'm going to just take a few minutes to kind of run through, and you're going to see some fun examples here.